to my dear sister Flora and my brother Palm. You're the greatest. Ah, oh, thanks, Alexander. Alexander. Isn't it, fellas? It certainly is, Alexander. But where have you been? Oh, I just had to get my party hat. Save my seat, okay? There he goes again. Huh? Eek. Oh, what? Oh, ah. Oh, hey. I'm back. Alexander, what's going on? I think it's called a party, Flora. Why can't you sit still? Because, uh, because, uh, I gotta go check on the cake. Alexander! Back in the jiffy! Oof. Papa! Well now, birthday boy, where are you going in such a hurry? Please, Papa, not so loud. Palm and Flora might hear us. I don't understand, Alexander. What's the big secret? Uh, can we talk? I promised to sit next to my friends. But that was before I found out that I'm supposed to sit with Palm and Flora. It is our birthday, after all. Well, why not tell your friends that? And hurt their feelings? Oh, they wouldn't understand. Let me tell you a story about something that happened to me when I was a boy. It was the day of the annual palace ball. All of Celesteville was abuzz with excitement. This is gonna be some party. Babar sure blown the budget on this ball. Hey, Babar! Hi, Zephyr. All set to trip the light fantastic? I certainly am. What do you think? It's you! <laughs> <laughs> it's not for me, it's for Celeste. Think she'll like it? <laughs> if you gave her a cold, she'd love it. This is disastrous. Not to mention terrible and catastrophous. What is it, Cornelius? Are the rhinos attacking? I'm innocent. <laughs> Worse than that, it's the seating arrangements. They're all wrong. Seating arrangements? Who decided to seat the Gorilla King next to Baron von Bohr? We all know they've been feuding for years. I did. I thought maybe if they sat together, they'd learn to get along. What a wonderful idea, sire. But as royal minister of protocol, I must advise that such a move could prove disastrous. Here comes the royal runaround. Then sit the Gorilla King next to the Koala Queen. An excellent idea, but flawed just the same. You see, the Koala Queen is angry at the Chairman Chimpanzee, who, as we all know, is the Gorilla King's lawn bowling partner. Yes, quite so, quite so. But you are the king. I'm sure whatever you decide will be fine, sire. Okay, then I decide you should decide. Fine. You can decide on my decision later. Now, on to this evening's schedule. Later, okay? I've got to see Celeste. Then... We'll be brief. At seven o'clock, you will arrive dressed and ready to board the royal carriage. In which you will make the traditional once around the park and return to the garden terrace. Where you will be announced to your royal ball guests promptly at eight. You will then be introduced to your escort for the evening, the Gorilla King's daughter. What? But I've invited Celeste to the ball. How nice. I certainly hope she enjoys herself. Now, about your date, the Princess Midge. But I've asked Celeste to go. My tusks, Baba. The Gorilla King is our guest of honor. It's absolutely imperative that he enjoy himself tonight. And the only way to ensure that... ...is to make sure his daughter, the Princess Midge... ...has a good time. With you. But... I'm afraid you'll have to cancel your arrangements with Miss Celeste. What am I gonna do? And so, madame, you see the spot I'm in? 
As king, it is my duty to take Princess Midge to the ball. But I've already promised to take Celeste. That sounds like quite a dilemma. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. What should I do? I'm afraid you'll have to decide between the two, Babar. Just remember that true friends will always understand. Thanks, madame. I think I know what I have to do. And so, with a heavy heart, I went to see Celeste. Zephyr came along to keep my spirits up. Don't get your trunk in a knot. Celeste will understand. Just tell her straight. You're right, Zephyr. <gasps> Babar! What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be getting ready for the ball? Well, that's what I came to talk to you about, Celeste. Oh, it's going to be fun, isn't it? I'll bet there'll be lots of guests. A few hundred, that's all. <clears throat> well, we're going to have a great time. Aren't we, Babar? <clears throat> Maybe not, Celeste. Why? Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. It's... It's... It's what? Tell me, Babar. It's your corsage. I kind of sat on it. Is that all? For a minute there, I thought you were going to cancel our date. Well, Hey, actually... sis, are we going to finish this dress or what? I am finished, Arthur. Listen, Babar, I've got a million things to do, so I'll see you tonight, okay? Bye. Oh. And by the way, thanks for asking me. You're the best. Boy, you sure told her, Babar. At that point, I figured the only thing left for me to do was to go back to Cornelius and tell him straight. Ah, uh, uh, let's see now. Decorations in order? Uh, check. Refreshments ready? Check. Cornelius? I've got something to say. Good, you're just in time. It seems there's a slight problem with the royal band shell. Can't it wait? This is important. I, I, I'm, I'm... I feel this is important, sire. It appears the royal handyman here <clears throat> followed the plans too literally and constructed this. I build them like I see them. Yes. Well, what would you suggest we do, sire? Hire smaller musicians? <laughs> Humor? Very good, sire. But seriously... Can't it wait, Pompadour? I have something very important to tell Cornelius. <gasps> I'm sorry, but as it turns out, I just can't take the princess bitch uh, uh, to the ball. Perhaps because... if we made the plans larger. Look, can't you just build it bigger? I could do that, but it'll cost extra. Fine, do it. As you wish, sire. I think you handled that rather well, Baba. You're a fine king. Thank you. Now, about the ball, yeah, I just May I can't... speak freely, Baba? Yes, of course, but... I know how hard it must have been to call off your evening with Miss Celeste. But, Cornelius, I didn't... And I'd just like to thank you personally... Cornelius. ...for putting your duty to the crown ahead of any personal preferences you might have. Don't mention it. What do you mean you couldn't do it? I couldn't do it. That's what I mean. Cornelius would be crushed. Oh, boy. Then you've still got two dates. What am I gonna do? The ball starts in an hour. You could join the Foreign Legion. You'll have to if Celeste ever finds out. Hey, who says she has to find out? Wait a minute. If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, I'll take both girls. I think you're sunk. As long as they don't find out about each other, everyone will be happy. Wow, sounds like fun. Sounds like trouble. I've got to get ready. See you at the ball. Something tells me it's going to be a long night. So, with the evening of the ball at hand, Zephyr, Arthur, and I put Operation Double Date into effect. Gee, Papa, did you really think you could get away with it? Well, Alexander, I had high hopes at the beginning of the evening. 
<laughs> Are you having a good time, your gorilla ship? Chair, Yambo, Kalawaya, comfortable. According to the official protocol translation book, uh, his eminence says that he is most pleased to be invited to such a grand event, or he's bored. Just as I suspected, Celeste is late. You're all clear to meet Princess Midge. How'd you know she'd be late? Arthur took her shoes. What are little brothers for? <laughs> <laughs> King Babar, it is our extreme pleasure... Not to mention our honor and delight... ...to introduce to you His Royal Majesty and Guest of Honor... ...the Gorilla King... Hello. ...and his daughter, the Princess Midge. Pleased to meet you. I do hope you enjoy yourselves tonight. Nyambo, Kalawai. His Majesty says that he is absolutely thrilled or he has indigestion. <laughs> Excuse me? Coming through. Yikes. Sorry. Ah. Excuse me. Much obliged. Pardon me. So you're King Babar. I sure hope you're ready for some serious dancing. <laughs> Oh, Babar! Huh? Here I am! <gasps> Celeste! Oh, no! Uh, after you, Princess. <sighs> Celeste, you're here! Let's tango! <laughs>
punch? Don't tempt me. Don't worry, Babar. It's all downhill from here. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. King Baba will now select the bell of the ball. What? <gasps> what a wonderful idea. Uh, uh, confidentially, your daughter is going to be the bell of the ball. <laughs> Isn't that splendid? Baba. Mm -hmm, Baba. What am I going to do? I have to pick one of them. If you don't pick Celeste, it'll break her heart. And if you don't pick Midge, the Gorilla King will break your arms. I hope this works. What was our escape plan again? Choice. In my eyes, she'll always be Bella the Ball. Yay! <laughs> Come on, String Bean. Uh -oh. Let's see what you can do. This dance. What's wrong, Baba? Everything. It isn't easy trying to keep two dates, is it? It shows, huh? Just a little. I guess I'm not being fair to Celeste, or Midge, or even Cornelius over there. So what do you plan to do? I think it's time to tell Celeste the truth. Boy, King Babar. What are you gonna do, Babar? What I should have done a long time ago, Arthur. Celeste? <gasps> Celeste, I have something to say. What? Gotta go, Celeste? Back in a second, Celeste? For what it's worth, I did want to pick you as the belle of the ball. It's not just that. You've hurt me, Babar. Running around all night, dancing with that other girl. It's, it's almost like you invited both of us to the ball. I did. What? Babar, how could you? Celeste, please listen. That other girl is the Gorilla King's daughter. And because I'm the king, I had to take her to the ball. Then why didn't you tell me? I tried, but I couldn't do it. And when I went to tell Cornelius, I found I couldn't let him down either. So, so I kind of got this idea to... Take us both? Yeah, take you both. I'm sorry. That is one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard. But also the sweetest. What? You compromised your duty as king just to make me happy. <sighs> well, I guess I better get back to my kingly duty. I sure hope the Gorilla King doesn't dance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. Where is Babar? The Gorilla King is having a horrible time. All right! Hey. <gasps> he smiled. What did he say? Forget the book! <laughs> that kid can really dance. Well, well, so he can. Wow, Zephyr. You're my kind of monkey. Like you've been stood up, Babar. Oh, 
I think I'll get over it. <laughs> wow, so you went through all that for nothing? Exactly. Hmm, maybe I should tell my friends the truth. It just might work, you know. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Anytime. Hey there, you two. Does Alexander want to help cut the cake? Are you coming, Alexander? Yeah! Shall we join the party? Certainly. Thank you. 